On this episode of Safe Insight, we will be featuring 5D Robotics as they explain their state-of-the-art hyper-positioning and autonomous navigation platforms that is sure to transform construction job sites, yards, and shops all over the world. We continue to sort of pioneer the use of uh, intelligent robotics and also uh, increasing Throughout our, our early days at 5D, we, we noticed the importance of positioning. So positioning obviously is very important for things like detecting landmines, but it really turns out it's important for just about everything. We pioneered the use of a native approach called ultra wideband. It is essentially a pulse-based uh, radio technology that allows us to embed this little chip into all kinds of devices. We can put them on people, drones, cars, buses, trucks, robots, forklifts, anything we want. And what it does is it allows us to essentially replace or enhance the use of GPS, but it also sort of shifts the paradigm away from a global map-based centralized mindset to a wholly different paradigm where everything moves in relation to everything else. And it essentially this sort of improvisational dance, whether it's a dance of forklifts and scissor lifts, or a dance of uh, soldiers and squad support robots, or a dance between cars, buses, and trucks on the highway. And it is really not a revolutionary concept at some level. It's just the idea that we can tag many different things in our environment and allow them to know their exact relative location and orientation. And it turns out that this is, in fact, essential to bring about the vision of connected and autonomous vehicles. A way of doing it where the actual precision and reliability of the peer-to-peer -peer positioning network is unparalleled. There's nothing like it in the world. Peer-to-peer, -peer, it's accurate to plus or minus a centimeter. It, it, you know, unfortunately, from, from the perspective of a roboticist, if you can't keep the forklift reliably on the loading dock, then you unfortunately can't use the autonomy at all. So the reality is that for these critical robotic applications, the tyranny of the worst case scenario is really a big problem. And so when it really comes down to it, you've got to be very careful in looking at the technology to not only consider the accuracy, but also what I'm calling essentially the worst case scenario. When any other uh, vehicle with a tag comes into proximity, um, they register each other's presence and exact position and orientation, and, and it can actually do it in a non-line-of-sight fashion. And why that's important is it means that unlike cameras or LIDAR, it can see through foliage, it can see through dust, it can see through rain and fog, and Quite frankly, you can even see through walls. So I think just the connection between the sort of smart construction sites of the very near future as really the test grounds for the smart cities of tomorrow that we, we need to build. There's no reason why we, you know, we shouldn't be putting this on essentially everything dangerous that moves, right? So I personally think the construction environment is a great place to start. You know, you have these closed environments that are very much in need of safety and where you do have, a, a, you know, in many cases, dusty, cluttered environments. And so my, my hope is that by improving out the technology on the construction side, this will be sort of a pilot for a microcosm, if you will, for the rest of the built world, meaning the actual cities and, and highways all around us, where... You know, just as we at low speed can coordinate things like forklifts and, and AGVs, we'll also be able to coordinate things like buses, trucks, and cars. This episode was sponsored by Graycore. Click to subscribe and see more at BuiltWorlds.com.